Hey guys, it's Daryl. It's Wednesday, Wednesday morning. I'm getting ready to go to the gym, watching the news. It's about, uh, it's not even 4 a.m. So I was, I was sitting here thinking this morning. Actually, I was watching one of my my videos uh, where I had, uh, I, I, uh, I went back to have words with a, a guy who yelled at me. The guy, the three guys in a car drove by and screamed at me, get on the road or some shit. And it, it, it startled me. And, uh, they had bad luck because uh, after they went by, they got stuck at a stoplight and I, I, I turned around and went back and I was looking crazy. I was, okay, here's the thing <clears throat> that I want to talk about today. And I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm honestly trying to get better at this. And, and you know what, watching the Wes Watson stuff and, and some other like Christian motivational stuff, um, karma universe stuff is helping me. I'm really, I'm much better these days. When I first got clean from heroin, um, I, I could not control my emotions. I hadn't felt, I honestly, it numbed, it really does numb you up. And I remember, man, I, I would start crying watching a, a freaking commercial on TV. Um, I'd get angry at a drop of a hat. And I mean this, this kind of angry, I mean... Uh, my father died when I was young, and I've had to fight. You know, I you know I, I had to fight. I was a bigger guy, and I had to fight through my my younger years. Um, I've had my nose broke like three times, and I get this when I when I I get in that situation, I get tunnel vision, like, and uh, this is the part I really I don't like is um, I lose control. I feel like some like I'm not in control of myself. My hands get numb. They literally get numb. Like on TV, okay, this is one thing. On TV, you, somebody will punch somebody and they'll go, ow, like they hurt their knuckles. I never in my life have felt that. Maybe the next day, my knuckles will be swollen. But when, I, when I'm when i in that moment, and this, is, this has been a long time since I've been in, in any kind, I'm not trying to sound tough or anything. I, I, I the, the point of this video is to avoid altercations at all, all costs. I'll, I'll get to more of that. But my hands are numb whenever I got in a fight. And the only way that I'd even know that I made contact with that person is I see their head snap back or they go down. You know, my hands were numb. I did not feel that contact. And that scares the shit out of me. I'm watching, I'm watching myself. I'm just in this mode where I'm not in, I have no control over myself. I'm just, just in this mode. It goes back to when I was a kid. I remember this one time when I was a kid. My dad was still alive. I was probably about eight or nine years old. And this kid coughed on me. We were sitting on the, on the porch, on a cement porch. And he coughed on me. And I, I, it, it you know, pissed me off. And I was like, cut it out. And he kept laughing, kept doing it. And at the end, I grabbed him. And I got him down on the ground. And I got his head against the, the porch. And I just started slamming his head into the porch. I was only like eight years old at this point. And he laughed a few more times, and I just, I just remember snapping and just slamming his head into the porch. And he was crying. I think he was bleeding. The parents pulled me off. Uh, I was in the truck on the way home. My mom on one side of me, my dad on the other. I'm sitting in the middle. And I thought I was going to get yelled at. And my dad was like, good job. <laughs> and this is the, some of the stuff that I remember. It sticks, stuff like that sticks with you, too. All right, to get to the point, now Wes talks about, this is what scares me. Wes and then 23, uh, 23 and 1, Death I Bring, that YouTuber, he talks about, he got arrested recently, and he talks about um, how easy, how he, he thinks about going to jail, like he, he could go back to prison at any moment, and I can identify with that because I think about dying at any moment. I, I have been broken up, busted up so badly. I, I broke over 10 bones. I've been stitched up more times than you can count. I've been to the emergency room dozens of times. And I... I um, so it's almost like a form of PT... Uh, uh, stress, that PTSD or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm constantly... I, I Almost every day, I think, this, this is, could be my last day. It could be my last hour on Earth. And... I live every day like that. It's a, it's, a, it's a fucked up way to live. And I see that those guys say that too. 23, uh, 23 uh, death I bring. And Wes, you know, they're like, don't fuck up. Because, you know, 
you never know when you could end up in jail. And, and then once you're in jail, like Wes, Wes says, it could turn into a life stretch by what they call putting in work. I don't know anything about that shit. I've never been to jail, knock on wood. But, okay. So, I found recently, because a lot of shit happens when I'm driving through this town every day on my bike. Every single day, I'm doing 10 miles right through the center of town. And people will fuck with you. It's almost a daily thing. I've had a hard time in the past. I've gone up. To, I, I've gone back. When I see a car that screwed with me, that turned, that, that came, that intentionally came close to my bike, that flipped me off, that screamed at me. If I see them stop, if I see them in, uh, at, uh, somewhere else in town, if I see them at a stoplight, I go. I just, I feel that flush in my face. I feel my hands get numb, and I beeline to that car, and I, I, I start losing control. Um, my point is, this is what scares me. Because when I watched that video again, I thought to myself, what if those guys weren't terrified of me? What if they, those three got out of the car? I, I, I know I would have gone for it, man. I might have won. I might have lost. But regardless, I probably would have gone to jail. And, you know, and when we talk about that loss of control, I definitely would have gone to jail. There, there would have been trips to the hospital. You know, it would have been bad. And someday somebody will get out of those car, that car. I'm not going to, you know, someday I'm going to meet a motherfucker who's just as crazy as I am. And they're going to get out and this shit's going to hit the fan. I can't keep doing that. And this is where I really think that Wes and uh, Death I Bring, th their videos have helped me. Um, uh, about positivity, peace, you know, and... It's about, it's a, you know, the way I react is up to me. And uh, I'd say in the last two weeks, I've just let it go. And you know what? I feel so much better. I swear to God, my day is so much better. I didn't realize that that little amount of negativity, I, I would go back and I would flip, uh, you know, I, I've chased cars. I've dropped my bike in the middle of the road and chased the car. Because a lot of times these people will, will look at me like I'm insane and try to get around me and take off, even if there's two guys in the car. So I, I must look like uh, I'm, I'm not all there. But one of these days, I'm, I will run into a motherfucker that's just as crazy as I am. And he's going to come at me. And I'm going to go at him. And, and somebody could die. Somebody probably will die. And I'm going to end up in jail. I'm going to end up. And you know, and I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, my God. This has to stop. This cannot go on. Um, you know, I got a good life here. I, I know better. I can't do this. You know, I have to, I have to control myself. I have to find a better way. And uh, so to Wes and to 23, uh, to death I bring, man, I'm going to get goosebumps, man. Thank you. Seriously. I, oh my God, I just got wicked goosebumps all over. Thank you so much. Because I didn't realize how often this was happening. And once I looked at myself talking in that video on this, on this channel... I realized that sooner or later, sooner or later, shit's going to happen. You know, my luck or whatever you want to call it is going to run out. It will. And uh, I'm going to be in a bad situation. Um, I'm going to find myself in court, handcuffed and shit. Um, so, you know, I'm not perfect. But the last two or three weeks, I've let it go. And, I've, and as soon as I just let it go, I'm like these people, I can't control them. They have issues in their life. I don't know what's going on in their life. Now, this is see. This is the thing too. When my when I I'm on a bicycle and these are cars and trucks and I, I, a lot of you people probably haven't ridden a bike lately, especially you know in traffic and stuff. And you realize that your life and limb are in danger, you know. And when somebody swerves their car towards me, I get this rush. It's like a a fight or flight, die, inst you know, I could die instinct. And I, I get into fucking, you know, survival mode where it's, I take it very freaking too seriously where I'm now, I, I'm in, I'm intent on damaging this person, you know, like I feel like my life is in danger and, and I can't do this. You know, I, I know I can't, I can't live like this. And it's not the kind of person I am these days. And I didn't realize that this was still so much of a part of my life. This negative, it really is negative. You know, I'd laugh about it a little bit after and, you know, and, and I got to admit, part of you feels good, you know, 
to uh, inflict a little, a, little, a little fear into somebody that is trying to be a bully. It, it feels good, man, you know? But part of me, in my heart, I know that's not me. You know, in my heart, I feel bad. In my heart, I see the fear in these people's eyes. You know, I see the regret, I see the fear, I can feel it, and I feel bad. You know, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. It's a tough, it's a tough call, man. You know, um, I, 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 I'm the kind of rebellious person that I won't curtail my my activities. You know, I love riding that bike, and I'm going to keep riding that bike if it kills me. You know, I love it, man. You know, it, it's a rush. Like the drugs used to give me, the, that rush, I, I still get that rush, and I, I love it. And, it, you know, it's built up, it's built me into a fantastic shape and everything. But I'm, I'm getting better. And it's with thanks to those two guys that have been in prison. And, and they're, they're wise words to, to people. Anybody that says that these guys are trying to uh, glorify prison life, you're wrong, man. You're wrong. And I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a living example. You know, I've never been in jail, and what they've said has made me think twice about, about some of the stuff I do. So, thanks, guys. Seriously. You, you might have saved me some, some trouble. So, have a good day, guys.